May 22nd. It is your Monday. We hope you had a wonderful weekend. The weather was hot for sure. <laughs> Rob Carlmark, we're starting with you because that is probably what we're going to be feeling today. But right now outside, it is beautiful. OK, Michelle, this is my favorite story of the week. Are you ready for it? I am. OK. And the music is perfect because it's a quirky story. So there's some quirky music. OK, an Idaho woman thinks it was love at first sight, not for her, but my friends for a goose. Yes, the goose fell in love with her Lincoln MKZ. Seriously. You know what I was just doing? What? <laughs> Looking at the world's best beaches. <laughs> and thinking about ocean waves. This is actually or Brazil the pool, yeah. Pfizer. So take yourself to a nice place. I just want to know, do you feel larger than life when you're out there on that stage? Mm. There's a line. I yeah, like that. there's a line. I like okay. that. Um, I actually feel small. And Me what too, do you too. have there? I have got flourless chocolate cake down in here. Okay. And ah, uh, there you go. It's from my new cookbook, Paula Dean oh. Cuts the Fat. Boom! <laughs> We're dropping the mic. We're dropping the mic. We are yeah. dropping. Can yeah. I tell you real quickly? You dropped the mic with this green outfit. I'm showing real quickly. It's going all over Twitter and Instagram this morning. This thing was hot. I don't understand. In your eyes. Selfless humanitarian babies. But okay, the names, because we're just getting this in. Yeah. Ella and Alexander Clooney. Oh, I and love Mama that. Mall is doing well, but the twins were born. And so I hopefully love that we'll get a picture. They're normal classic names. I know. They didn't feel the need to go Hollywood and name them like Nutmeg or something <laughs> random. I like that. Paprika. Paprika. That's a good one. <laughs> this is what it's all about. Morning coffee outside. It looks like you already drank all the coffee because you had that cup pretty tilted the, earlier. The, the most delicious coffee in the morning <laughs> is prop coffee. There Always we go. The yes, the truth <laughs> comes out. 12 guys and an audience of girls, no topic off limits. How do you see this going down? You're going to be able to ask guys about what they like and don't like about women, dating advice, mm -hmm. why men leave clothes on the floor when the laundry basket's right next to it. Uh -oh. Stuff like that. Too soon? Too soon. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not on the panel. Is I it mean, over? Uh, yeah, we're good. You can look now. I can't. And block it out. I can't even. Block it out as gross. best I can. It's so gross. Well, it is gross. Butchers Championships. Yes, it's a thing. I hadn't heard of it either. It's a championship, though, for, you guessed it, butchers. It's basically Iron Chef, but for people who cut meat really, really, really well. It turns out that two local Sacramento butchers have been chosen to be on the U.S. team that is going to compete. What? And then you use the force to reach one way and push back the other way. And then, Michelle, see how fast we're flying? Yeah, we're going. We're, we're going, going fast. Whoa. So that's how you do it safely. Wear the helmet. Wear the life jacket. Yes. And, and the water's going to be cold. That's where the stronger winds are coming from. I left Dina's my kayak. My, I left my, my kayak. in the kayak. Thank you, Dina. So we don't have to remind you that it's going to be hot, but just take one long look at your screen. Hmm. Doesn't that look good? Yes, and this heat, an icy cold milkshake. Oh, yes, today is National Vanilla Milkshake Day because there is a day for everything. A hacker or a hacking group known as the Dark Overload leaked eight episodes of Steve Harvey's Thunderdome no! online. What? It is the latest reveal in a series of attacks for the hacker and ABC 10's Marcus Allen. Really? Shocking Steve outrage. Harvey? The thing that I thought was pretty interesting too is how high scoring the Warriors games have been. Yeah. The one that was 136 to 100. I yeah. just think, gosh, they're on fire. Not only video. beating a great team, but yeah, yeah, making a lot of baskets. Warriors are a video game. There's so much fun to watch. They are. You know, very entertaining. All right. So are you, Walt. You're Sometimes. entertaining too. They're asking people to come and they're paying you for it and it's in Italy. So I say yes, please <laughs> sign me up. In and out is out of the top spot. That is the new Harris poll that is out shows five guys is now above in and out as America's favorite burger chain. Is this true, California? Do you believe this? I love that she handled this the way she did because there Agreed. are a lot of women who would have felt very ashamed by this and yeah. probably wouldn't have wanted to come out right away. But she's going, you know what? Give me my burger. Give me my fries. I'm going to do this all I want. Exactly. I am a little curious why this was her choice of poses because I thought, too, that that meant there was something brewing other than a burger. Remember, okay. if you all need any help, I'm okay. always available <laughs> to help be the taster, you know, for quality control reasons. All right, here's Keanu Reeves talking to Rachel from Friends. Okay, go. So, how do you afford to live in this apartment? You don't make enough money. <laughs> oh, money, yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rachel, sure. you're going to be driving yeah. this bus, but it's got to go 60 miles an hour. 60? Okay, yeah. 
sure. I can do that. Rachel, yeah. you can <laughs> take the blue pill or the red pill. We're driving people nuts. And it starts right here in the Capitol Mall. So I want to give you a first-hand preview of what these cyclists from all over the world are going to be embarking on. And as you head down, it's only going to get even better. The snow continues to fall this morning. We're not going to see it let up. So we're expecting another foot in the Sierra today, guys. So if you can see, there we go. How much fun is that, guys? You look like you're having a great time out there. You look pretty good. Well, thank you. You yeah. have to say that, otherwise I'd be upset. No one really talks about what's going on inside, Irene. We are at the Tree Circus this midday, and uh, this is where anyone who wants to beat the heat can come inside. Okay, this is for our bracket. Let's do it. Hold Duke it down, versus, Dina. Duke versus Oregon. I'm yeah. rooting for Seth. Ready? I'm sorry, Dina. Three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> oh, come on, oh, Seth. Come on. Nope. <laughs> No, I can't injure the player before the game. You just have to get out of the gate by going. Girlfriend, you already admitted that you're engaged. Like, this is unheard of. Um, how did you talk ABC into letting you reveal that part of this whole conversation? The heat is on. You know, we have to have fun with it when it's like this outside because it's miserable. And we yep. know that it's miserable for people, but we're trying to make you have some fun on your feet. There you go. The heat is going to get off screen now. Okay, there we go. Michelle, <laughs> thank you for the dance break and the horrible temperatures. Back to you, Dina. Oh, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you to sing a line from your favorite Walt Disney animation. Oh, he put me on the spot. Okay, I have a lot, but I am going to do one that I think will put everyone in a good mood. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. Under the seat. Under the seat. Darling, it's better down where it's wet to take it from me. There we go. Yay for Disney. <laughs> if you have a favorite, what? All I hear is clickety clack. I know, no one even cares. <laughs> no one cares about my singing. I care. We, we love friends. you. We're just jealous. So much for this open newsroom <laughs> setting where everyone's supposed to <laughs> encourage you and cheer you on. And coming up next, we have a story about how cord cutters can actually save some more money. A new service is being introduced into the internet world. We're going to tell you how you can watch some of your favorite channels all online. Season 22 of Dancing with the Stars has now wrapped up and we now have a new Mirrorball Trophy winner and that is Niall DeMarco, the incredible death model who really overcame so many obstacles to be a part of this incredible opportunity and this season and we got a chance to talk with him, also his mother, after the show tonight. Tonight, the tears were flowing. Please tell me how you feel right now, all the emotions. What was tonight like? I cried because, you know, I was heartbroken because we worked so hard every week and we had that such a strong bond and that was now it has to end you know here at the end of Dancing with the Stars but we really challenged ourselves every week and you know winning was a shock but you know it was really about redemption you know you can use your disadvantages to your advantage it was so very emotional I can't think of any word to describe it really it was just unbelievable to witness him win this tonight I am so happy for Niall. He's doing something on the show that nobody's ever done before, and it's so impressive. And I mean, all, he's amazing. I, I feel really happy, and you know, we made it really far, and I feel like what I came on the show to accomplish, I did, and I've been able to speak out and been given a platform where I can reach people that I hadn't been able to before, and it feels good, and I'm happy I got to do this with Mark. It's changed me because I feel like, and this is a huge statement, but I'm, I'm happier, healthier, and better than I've ever been in my whole life. So. I'm just cherishing every single second of seeing these sparkles right now, of being in this ballroom and of being next to Val. It was an amazing show. There was such a crazy energy backstage. It was so yeah. much fun to be a part of, and I'm really, really proud of Niall and Peta. Of course, when you look at this top three, we've got Paige Van Zandt, Ginger Z, and Niall DeMarco. It really was so hard to pick one favorite, but I certainly do think that Niall deserved it. He did a fantastic job this season, also bringing awareness to the deaf community. He inspired so many in his journey on this show. For now, I will leave it there and reporting in Hollywood, Dina Kupfer, ABC 10 News.